Right, I'm over at Sand Bay, Middle Hope. I just come down a slippery slope and actually fell on my ass and got my trousers covered in mud and wet. Gave me shoulder a bit of a jolt, but I think it's all right. Got a big bum, that's what saved me, I think. <laughs> I'd only just put my camera away for safety because I was coming down a big muddy slope. It was right near the top, I just, foot just went from under me. So basically I'm, I'm not gonna walk too close to the edge. <laughs> You know, I never used to fall at all, um, ever. Even when I used to have a few beers years ago, I never fell over. Just lately, I've been slipping. Must be these boots. I took the rest of it. I took ages coming down the rest of it, just really, really slowly. I didn't have me mud proofs on either. Wind and mud proofs. I didn't put them on today. I think I can see somebody walking on the beach or fisherman, let me just see. Is that somebody there? Yeah, I can see his line. Yeah, somebody getting ready to catch something. I got the wind behind me, which would dry my jeans out. I don't know what they look like from behind. I know I've got quite a bit of mud there, look. See quite a bit of mud there. Mud there, where I've fallen. Uh, I don't know what the trousers look like at the back, they're damp. So, I've not put the, wa I'll put the waterproofs on a bit later. But I've got to let these dry out, so I let the wind get to me jeans. Yeah, when I fell, I didn't feel too, fall too heavily, it was just a slip. But what happened, my, I fell so that it jolted my whole body. And um, my left shoulder got a bit of a wrench. I got the rucksack on my back. I could do a spike on my shoes, really, for out here. Looks like somebody's mowed it, doesn't it? I wonder if they do mow it. They might have mowed it when um, when they had that drama out here, mightn't they? They might have had a lawnmower out here. It's not normally this neat. <laughs> well, it shows I might enjoy myself if I'm rolling about in mud, doesn't it? This is Middle Hope. This is the area where there's supposed to be volcanic rock. I mean, some people, experts say, no, there ain't. Others say, yes, there is. It looks like it to me. I didn't do a lot of geology, but I did a little bit. Yeah, the big ship I saw earlier was actually going away from me, so I haven't been able to follow her up the River Severn. This is like the sea, but also the River Severn, really, here. Big, isn't it? Big river, isn't it? If you think about it, this is a big river. You couldn't think, oh, I'll just swim over to Wales, could you? It's a big river. It's more than one river. There's several rivers converge here. Several. The River Parrot forms here. The River Banwell. off into different parts of the Somerset and uh, they got given names. There's more than that, that's just the ones I've mentioned so far. All the moss creeping down the sides of the rock there, like a terrace. And someone's got a little seat just around the corner there where you could get down in when it's not slippery and have a nice view there. I don't know what it'd be like on the video because I've got the wind behind me for a change. A bit sideways as well. Not many people out. It's a Thursday. The weather is going to be horrific over the next, over the weekend, starting tomorrow, apparently. But sometimes they give a general description and then you find out that your own area isn't really going to be too bad. 
but I knew I had to get out today. I probably would have gone off further afield, but no, I'm just keeping local. I'm not going to be doing my usual circular either, which means going up the little lane, which I do love doing, I do love that, going up the bridle path, across the field, you know, it's going to be quagmire big time. So what I'm doing today, I'm doing, I've done a bit more up this end, and uh, I'm going to walk round I'm going to walk around. I'm going to walk right round all the way to the MOD place, which was MOD, and back round. So I probably I won't be going towards the Priory today. I'll leave that for today because those fields are always very boggy. Just a nice little plod. Remembering my lovely family tree cousin discovered 10 years ago. I can't remember exactly how we made contact. I don't think I don't think it was Facebook to begin with. It could have been through Ancestry and then we got given the number. I'll have to look it up. I'll have to try and remember and I need to print those sort of things off because that's history really. That's that's family tree connecting. There's some, you know, keep to the flutter bit, Sheila, and just, when it looks dodgy, just go slow. Don't go up the banks, that's where you slipped. I tried walking up a bank and along, and I actually slipped on the grass. I would have been better staying on the mud and st sticking to the mud, if you know what I mean. I don't know if I have a jolt though. Cool, bloody hell. Glad I emptied my bladder not long ago. Cool, a jolt. I said I wouldn't be surprised if my shoulder aches later. I didn't hear a crack or nothing and it seemed it's moving. Here's a fisherman enjoying himself out there. Isn't it lovely? You've got a hobby that can save you got all his gear on. I expect he comes out here all year round. Loving the peace, the beauty. Us women, we have to do things a bit different. I did not know a nurse that was a fisher girl and she used to go for competitions. She's a strong old bear. She still is. She probably still does it. She had all the gear and everything. It was her hobby. Why not though? Yeah, why not? It's never appealed to me as such, I must admit. I don't like the thought of catching a poor fish, having it dangling by a hook. No, I've never really liked that bit. And then, what's the other thing? Um, yeah, I just don't fancy hanging about. I'm not one for sitting, sunbathing or anything like that. Um, I can't sort of sit and read outside for some reason. I mean... Maybe I could have been older and had a decent umbrella. Um, I'm glad I said nothing. So I'm just thinking aloud then. I was thinking about uh, an incident that happened this morning. Um, but uh, I won't go into it on this video. And for a minute my thinking became loud. No, it's alright. I'll deal with that separately. Yeah, see this is a pillow larvae type thing it makes me feel like. The rocks down there. Yeah, that's definitely, if you can see it was hot once and it ended up looking like that when it cooled. 
That might be natural rock. It could have been thrown up though. No, that's definitely by volcano that is. Or earthquake something done it. Yeah, we got um, Cardiff over there with the Millennium Stadium. I'll just zoom in a minute. So as far as I can, there we are. Look, it's a Millennium Stadium in Cardiff. Well, I've got a lot of um, those wind machines. You get a lot of wind up this river. Sugarloaf Mountain over there, look. See it? Sugarloaf Mountain, that is. There's a Sugarloaf Hill or Mountain on Exmoor, actually. Uh, it's probably named because you get views over to that real Sugarloaf Mountain. And if we go further up, we can see the suspension bridges further up there. There they are, look. Traffic's on them, so it's not too windy. Traffic moving on them. They might ban high side vehicles, you never know. And then a bit further over we got Clevedon Pier, the old Victorian pier, where the big boats used to come in. And there's um, Poets Walk all around that hill there, Clevedon. That's what I'm going to do one day when the weather improves. I'm going. I'm going to be doing um, visits, local visits again. I've got my bus pass, I'm going off on the bus and I'm going to visit places I haven't done for quite a few years now. Well, not loads of years ago, you know, like five, six years, even seven or eight years ago. There's something on the beach there white. Let me just zoom in and see if I can see what it is. What's that, do you think? Something's been washed up, isn't it? Something quite big and plasticky. But I'm not going to risk going down there because to come down these banks, it's too risky. Might be able to see it when I get further over. God, I tell you, when I had a jolt, it jolted my rib cage, my neck, and my head. When I came down, it was like a big shake. <sighs> So if I have a, like a bad headache later, or um, neck ache, shoulder ache, oh no, it's from that fall. As long as I haven't done my brain any damage, that's the main thing, isn't it? I don't want a swollen brain. I mean, it wasn't like I fell from a height or anything. So the whole body shook. As my, so the whole body, it wasn't just the, rear, the, the posterior, it was like... Explain it really. More people fishing. Okay, when we get across that next little pinnock, that's what I call Scallop Bay. It's got a proper name, but I always call it a Scallop Bay because it's scalloped out. You can't see it from here yet. But over there you can see the The style that I'll be getting over later. There, look. The gates, they've got a new gate by the look of it. I'll be getting over that later. Yeah, I set off earlier than usual today. I was on the half plus ten bus. I didn't leave it later. I got out early. Because sometimes the weather changes after midday. You get more grey sky and there is going to be nasty weather coming. So, over and out for now everyone.